How to Exceed the Speed of Light by Professor Ennui Pitoui. The special theory of relativity, Einstein's theory, says you can't measure anything going faster than light. Well, there's ways around that if you're tricky and use your own clock. This is you. You take a round trip to another planet one light year each way. You've got a pretty fast spaceship. Junie Beth, a technical person who stays on the home planet, clocks you at 87% the speed of light. According to Junie, the round trip will take about 2.3 years. However, Einstein says the faster you go, the slower your clock runs, which means at 87% the speed of light, your clock on the spaceship runs twice as slow as Junie's clock back home. So, Measured by your clock, the trip only takes 1.14 years, which means your calculated speed is twice as fast as what Junie measured, or 1.75 times the speed of light. So there you go. You've exceeded the speed of light. How? By using your own subjective point of view, by looking inward to yourself. Scientists like Junie and Einstein, prefer an outward-looking, objective point of view. According to that point of view, if you exceed the speed of light, effect could precede cause, and the relationship between things in the external world could be upset. But you, being you, can be your own world, can be your own causality, can measure your own speed. Thank you very much. This is Professor Anwi Pitawi signing off.